And now our weekly energy update with Dan McTeague, president of Canadians for Affordable Energy. Nima, it's been an uh, incredible week. Again, we've seen oil and gasoline prices and diesel all move up. Um, again, with two wars globally, uh, with uh, signs that perhaps there isn't going to be an interest rate increase, at least in the United States, possibly in Canada. Uh, it would appear that uh, energy prices have nowhere to go but up. Uh, we note this week that the diesel inventories which uh, and, and gasoline inventories, which tend to build a little bit, are in fact uh, decreasing if we're to use the uh, Energy Information Agency's data. That's from the United States Department of Energy. Uh, and it's a, a real telling uh, example of just how uh, tight the situation is getting. In the United States, the most important hub, at least it used to be, was the Cushing uh, Oklahoma hub, which uh, was really the reference point for West Texas Intermediate Oil, usually used for most of North America, with the exception of, say, the uh, East Coast of Canada. Uh, that uh, reference uh, place, that hub, if you will, has seen inventories of oil drop to levels not seen since 2014, so almost nine, ten years ago. Uh, and what is there in that hub, in, that, in those great depots, uh, is probably oil that not everybody wants or can use. Uh, emphasis now is really focusing on heavy oil. Who has it? We see the Biden administration may have given permission, uh, released some sanctions on Venezuela to get as much as 200,000 barrels of oil a day for the next six months. It goes to show you just, uh, it's a sign really of just how uh, this uh, desperate the situation is for the production of oil products such as uh, diesel and in particular heating oils at this time of year when we're starting to see uh, pressure on not just diesel prices but also on inventories uh, important for things like stove oil, furnace oil and the like, especially in places like Eastern Canada and the United States. What that really means is that we're going to continue to see upward pressure on gas prices. Uh, that means that in Vancouver, the dollar eighty-five. I'm just looking at the price for dollar eighty-one, dollar eighty-two that we're going to see this weekend could move about up about three or four cents a liter. Uh, the rest of the interior of BC hard to make a broad brush because it ranges between dollar sixty-five and Prince George. You know, and you're down in Kelowna, dollar seventy-two to dollar seventy-seven. Uh, those and Kamloops. Those prices uh, are likely to go up about another four cents a liter on average. Same for uh, uh, Alberta and uh, uh, Calgary within it uh, and Edmonton. They could see about a three cent increase pushing back towards the low dollar 40s. Uh, Saskatchewan remaining where it is in the dollar 55 to dollar 58 range. Uh, and same for Manitoba holding as it is uh, and has been for some time in the dollars, uh, $1.55 to $1.58 uh, vicinity. Uh, for uh, Canada, uh, the rest of Eastern Canada, Ontario, uh, you know, you're today paying uh, on this Friday uh, in the vicinity of about a dollar fifty-six, dollar fifty-seven. Look for those prices up about three cents a liter to a dollar sixty, dollar sixty-one. Quebec always twelve cents more expensive, uh, especially Montreal. So you know they will be paying a dollar seventy-two. While the Maritimes, interesting story. We've seen uh, two provinces. Uh, uh, both uh, New Brunswick and uh, uh, no, uh, and the Newfoundland dropped gasoline prices, while Nova Scotia and PEI actually went up. Uh, you're going to see Nova Scotia, rather, sorry, Newfoundland, and uh, and uh, likely uh, New Brunswick by the end of the week, uh, if not before the time to change gas prices on Thursdays and Fridays, uh, maybe move up four or five cents a liter. It looks like the deep discount, based on their uh, rather interesting. Uh, formulas, I call it creative accounting, may actually be challenged and uh, they will probably have to raise prices, which of course brings into question the issue of premium gasoline in the East Coast, only six cents a liter more expensive uh, than regular. The market says it should be at least something like 16 or 17 cents a liter. So someone's taking a beating uh, because of the regulated environment uh, on premium. And so uh, we'll see how that goes. It's been that for quite some time, but market prices are substantially higher for premium than they are for gasoline. I think for this week, Nima, all eyes have to be focused on what happens in Israel and Gaza. Should there be a full scale invasion, as there is anticipated to be one, then I think that uh, could set prices much higher beyond the resistance point of $90, $91 a barrel for WTI, $93.94 for uh, Brent pushing oil potentially up to 95 to $97 a barrel, in which case we're looking at prices uh, revisited that we haven't seen literally since September of 2022. For now though, uh, prices are slowly but surely heading back up. 
nothing really crazy, but uh, you know, should there be more uh, geopolitical pressure in the Middle East, all bets are off. Prices will definitely go up much higher than I think most of us uh, would find comfortable. That's it for this week, Nima. We'll talk next week. And that was Dan McTeague with our weekly energy update.